Hello everyone. Welcome to this series of sessions on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Database Management Service. In this session, we will look at how to enable and use database management. My name is Sriram Brinda. I am a product manager with the Enterprise and Cloud Observability and Management Platform in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. All right, so we are in the fourth step now. So we have installed and configured management agent, registered and connected to the external database ready to enable database management on the external database we now have a, a cdb a container database and a pluggable database which are connected but not yet enabled so that you could make use of database management with database management you can do fleet monitoring and management of oracle databases within a compartment you could make use of database groups to cater to fleet monitoring and management across compartments. And for a single database, you could do database monitoring and management, like monitor database metrics, and also run SQL jobs specific to a database. Now, let me take you to the OCA console and show you how to enable database management for external databases. All right, so I'm in the OCA console. Let us go to external database. And within this compartment, we have uh, the pluggable database HR stage and also the container database HRDB1, which are registered and connected, but we have not yet enabled database management. One thing to notice is that database management for container and pluggable databases are enabled at the container database level. So you need to first go to the container database and enable database management at the container database and then come back and enable it at the PDB level. This also enables you to do role separation. So if you are a CDBA, you could enable database management and then give appropriate privileges to the PDBA so that they could enable database management on their pluggable databases. Let's enable database management for this CDB. I click on enable and i need to choose a database connector so in this case i have an hr connection you need to choose a license type bring your own license or license included and you will be charged according to this metric which is the host cpu core per hour bring your own license you could bring your database diagnostics and tuning pack on premises and then choose the byol and get a pricing suited to the byol or if you don't have any diagnostics and tuning pack licenses on premises, you could subscribe to the database management service and avail the license included option as applicable and charges would be applicable as per the host CPU core per hour that you consume. So in this case, I have chosen license included. So let's go ahead and enable it. All right, so now we have uh, enable database management if we go to the metric section we would be able to see metrics flowing in for this particular container database now we could go to the external pluggable database and uh, click on the pluggable database of our interest in this case we have only one we can enable database management for this pluggable database as well when you click on enable you are choosing a database connector but uh, you would see that the license type is inherited from the external container database. So you as a CDBA would have complete control over what type of license to choose and on what pluggable databases you can enable database management and send metrics and also manage them. All right, so we have database management enabled for the external pluggable database as well. If you go to metrics, you should be seeing metrics flowing in for the external pluggable database as well. Now, how do I make use of database management for fleet monitoring and management? You should go to the hamburger menu and within monitoring and diagnostics, you would be able to see database management. So we will look at uh, the overview, fleet summary and database groups in our next set of videos.